Mizuno JPX 923 lineup has brought about some really clean design and performance changes, and the tour irons have the potential to be some of the best irons of 2023. With their release date set in early February, should you be looking to buy a set? Or is the difference just not quite enough? Welcome to Mythos Golf, my name's Justin, and today we're gonna to be discussing the JPX 923 Tour irons and how they have the potential to be one of the best irons of the entire year. Now I've been playing the 919 Tour irons for a few years now, and I would still regard those as some of the best looking and feeling irons that I've ever hit, but maybe that's about to change. First impressions, the looks and design of the new head is really clean and solid. The previous generation 921 Tour irons were a little bit simpler in design, and I don't think that quite as many people really liked the look of that, and so I'm really happy to see that the Mizuno designers have gone back and kind of looked at the 919 Tour irons and taken a few design cues from there. Now right off the bat, you'll notice when you look down at the top line of the club that it's a little bit thinner than it used to be. In fact, it's even a little bit thinner than the current Mizuno Pro line, according to Mizuno. You'll also notice when looking at the bottom of the club that they have reshaped the sole to add more bounce, giving you a little bit more relief on those steeper angles of attack, as well as adding a little bit more camber up alongside the back of the head there for a little extra relief. One thing I've always really liked about the Tour model is that they add this brushed, non-reflective finish to it. It's something that seems so minor, but when you are standing over the golf ball, eliminating those reflections and distractions can make all the difference in giving you confidence in the shot that you're about to take. To give the head a little bit more structure, Mizuno is using what they call their V chassis design, which allows them to manipulate the positioning of the weight in the head without sacrificing things like sound, feel, or performance. Some of the changes aren't quite obvious at first glance, but I believe that they are some of the biggest changes to the JPX Tour lineup that they've ever made. And I believe that to be the copper underlay that they put underneath the finish of the head. This is the first time that they've ever actually implemented the copper underlayer to their JPX line. They've done it with their Mizuno Pro line, and now they're bringing it to the JPX line to increase those things like sound and feel, which according to the testing that they did with their tour players, 90% of them could tell the difference between the one with copper underneath it and the one without. As soon as I can get my hands on a set of these, I absolutely plan on testing them against my 919 tour irons. So if that's something you wanna see, subscribe so you don't miss it and leave a like on the video. All in all, these irons have me very excited to see what they can do, and they very well might be the exact thing that you're looking for this year in an iron. Something with style and a bit of forgiveness without sacrificing that sound and feel are all really good qualities for Contender and being the best iron of the year. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.